guys welcome back to my channel if you're just tuning in if you're just watching or seeing my beautiful face for the very first time i'm lolita well that's my <laughs> my stage name oh well um which a um lolita yeah anyone pick one as pleases you um yeah i'm a youtuber i'm a lagos based youtuber and um it's been a while i had to sit down content here on this channel so i thought about okay why not you know why not bring it back right Vlogs will still come definitely, but well, let's have more of sit down content. Let's discuss. So, as the um, curtains close on 2022, we are trying and we are looking forward to heralding 2023. And whether we like it or not, whether you and I like it or not, we deserve to welcome 2023 in grand style. We deserve to welcome 2023 in a different way. It's it's something different. Like we finished one year, we finished 365 days. Come on. I think we deserve a round of applause. Not forgetting that all glory and all thanks belong to God Almighty you know, for keeping us to see the end of another year. And uh, yeah, so I thought about you know putting up some write-up on Medium talking about how the year is ending. And you know, I started that yesterday for as a matter of fact, I started this video yesterday, but technical issues and <laughs> I stopped the video but come on here we are again today um so I decided to you know put everything I have written down you know record it and you know feed it to my audience and my family here on YouTube so before I blab some water before I digress I'll be looking to my left hand side here please pardon me I have my laptop here and I had some point I um, you know I wrote down I want to expatiate on right here so now like i said as the curtains as the curtain you know closes on 2022 um i this is what i want to share with you so let me know in the comment section if anything i mentioned here if you can relate to it or if it applies to you or if you thought about it and you also want to implement it here so for me there are a few reminders that i have penned down you know for myself for the year 2023 i'm not really um, want to make resolutions I, 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 it's not in my it's not in my nature <laughs> me and resolutions haven't crossed yet so i haven't really made resolutions in my life like when i'm going into a new year right but i know that i take mental note of some particular things that okay i you know have learned in the past days in the past 365 days that have gone by and i would want to you know have them better in the next year or in the next forthcoming 365 days so these things i'd like to share here um first of all i like to remind myself that doubt is not an option having doubts yeah so let me know if you relate right like i said to any of this point so i'm not really going to talk much on each point i have 10 points listed i'm not really going to talk much on this point because i don't want this video to super to be super long so doubt is self-explanatory right in every area of my life i really don't want to doubt god i don't want to doubt the power of god i don't want to doubt god's favor and god's you know mercy upon my life i really don't want to doubt that that i was actually you know created and sent to the earth for a particular purpose i don't want to doubt god's purpose for my life I don't want to even nurse or have any doubts at all yes we are human we tend to say some of these things and you know unconsciously they tend to you know show their face or you know bring out their heads but taking a mental note of it you know helps to reduce that from happening yeah so that's that then not celebrating my wins yeah so if you and uh of if you are of the school of thought that when you have when you've achieved something it's still not what you want has not gotten there has not gotten to that level my dear hmm, my dear celebrate it oh celebrate is why you have it <laughs> before I'm looking for it yeah so i um i really need to remind myself to celebrate my wins more in the year 2023 no matter how small no matter how minute no matter how little my dear celebrate your wins if your wins is that okay you have moved from this stage to this stage please celebrate it the way right now as the year is ending i have decided as i've entered 2022 rather than 
um, you know, whining and sobbing and you know, um, grumbling that I I should have be, I should be to graduate next year, right? Well, I'm still not graduating because I still have had and federal government you know, took their tool on the education system. But I'm trying to celebrate the fact that actually I have. Finish doing a little first semester, first semester, one semester in one year. Please say wait, and I wrote my exams. I know, I think I, I want to believe I did absolutely well, right? So please celebrate your wins, no matter how late, so no matter how late they come, no matter the timing, please celebrate your wins. Now the third is not posting out of fear. So um, our generation and you know, the world we find ourselves today, especially our generation, right? Like I said. Uh, people tend to just post on social media out of fear. I've uh, been made a no toxic, I never post to uh, made a no toxic. Uh, this one about the ball, uh, or more. This guy know the ball, uh, 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 uh. and also, you know, that's for the people that want to post, right? Then there's some other people that don't post because you are afraid that there's somebody out there that's just going to see you, you know, and just maybe get envious and start attacking you and start looking for ways to bring you down. You know, every you just see social media as a window or a tool for you know bad things just are happening to you when you just post something good about yourself so you decide not to post you decide to even when you want even when you would love to you know share something great that's happened in your life you have the fear of not posting it because if you your village people are after you they receive the social media blah 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 blah, 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 blah and then you go a wall well if you are entertaining if entertaining any of the fears i just explained I think it should go with the year 2022. Yeah. Now the fourth thing is overthinking. Ah, um, uh, this one took the better part of me this this year. It took the better part of me. Like I really can't start explaining all the scenarios right here because I said I want this video to be not to be super long, right? But overthinking any situation at all. Over, overthinking any situation at all is not something I want to take into the year 2023 with me. I really don't want to overthink situations. I don't overthink scenarios. When something happens, let it stay within the constraint of that thing that has happened. Don't let it escalate in your mind. It's still like that in reality. So now, the fifth thing is unrealistic goals, right? Now, I really want to believe that each one and each one of us, hey, Jack and Tabo, each one of us actually once, once you set out a goal for yourself, see, unless you decide to lie to yourself or you decide to deceive yourself, you will know if that goal is realistic. So, I want to believe that setting unrealistic goals can maybe only apply to long term goals, right? Like goals of seven, eight years. But you want to set a goal that is, realis that is realistic, that means that goal is a short term goal, it's something you really want to achieve in the next one year, in the next two years, and that means you need to set it in motion immediately. A goal is not something that you just sit down and be staring at it, written in the paper until it comes to pass. You need to start laying the foundation, you need to start setting out, setting things and putting things in place to be able to achieve it. And by if, if you have a goal that you can't start working on it and immediately you think about it, then it's not realistic. You can't do anything about it. Then it's not realistic. Um, clutter plus being disorganized. I think this also this app this app um this goes both ways physically and then mentally, right? Some people see you have we have a lot of jargons now, right? As in we have a lot of jargons, jargons, junk everywhere. So let's start with the phys physical space, right? In your home, if you feel that you're, you're feeling choked up in your space, in your personal space. I think the year 2022, as it ends, is just the perfect time to declutter your space. It's the perfect time to please get organized, please get physically organized with your personal space, and then mentally as well. If you have thoughts, if you have memories that you think have been haunting you, this is the time to let it go. This is time to let it go. Leave it behind and don't carry that baggage or that junk into the year 2023. Declutter your personal space, both psychologically and physically. Thank you. <laughs> now, the next one is inconsistency. Man, this one speaks volumes for me. Especially here um, on YouTube, seeing that I actually plan or I have decided, not plan, I have already decided to you know take YouTube really seriously, take content creation basically really seriously. Inconsistency is something I am battling with, like I'm battling with it heads on like full time and I've decided and I've told myself that yeah, I'm leaving it behind in 2022. Inconsistency, stay back as the curtains of 2022 close. 
and yeah so i just want to put that out there just in case you're battling with this as well and it can be in any area in any aspect of your life you're being inconsistent if it's that you can't even keep a relationship you can't keep a friend you can't keep a family together you're inconsistent with work you are you're job, changing jobs maybe not your fault definitely but you need to find out what's going on what's making you so you're know, moving like we've Moving like with uh, those like here and there scattered here and there you start something you can't finish it you can't see things through to the end you're being inconsistent about it it's something we need we we me and you me and you we're going to drop it in this 2022 yeah and then the ninth one negativity negativity this one and uh, this one it is it for me like this is where I hang my boot negativity negative vibes now the thing I want to even actually point out here is that most people are of the school of thought that negative vibes are only being brought upon them by other people there are some other, there are some people that is your inner self you know we have me myself and I it is your inner self you are you have a part of you I'm not saying you're bipolar we have a part of you that actually gives you negative vibes like there's this spirit part of you that gives your physical part negative vibes and before you know it you actually having like a foul mood you're angry at nothing you're you can't seem to smile in 24 hours you can't count how many times you've smiled you know you suddenly turned your face to one stone cold kind of thing so i just want to let you know that you need to check yourself negative vibes are not only brought about brought upon you by other people yes you need to ditch negative vibe people like that i'm i'm a very big fan of that please if you so just go to your contact list like this and or check people that are around you people that you tend to see in your day-to-day -day activities or you meet every now and then anybody that's giving you negative vibes sokwe otilo sokwe otilo 2022 <laughs> and then if it's you yourself you yourself that is doing it to yourself you need to check idea. yourself work on yourself erase every negative thought because negativity brings about frustration brings about depression brings about you know uncertainty about oneself brings about a who it just shatters you basically like it it scatters everything that has to do with you it brings about unproductivity idleness a lot of things like it just basically messes with you and it won't stop until it brings that person down please let's take note and then the last but not the least people pleasing you see this one hmm. uh i don't even know where to start from i don't even know where to say it is even supposed to be the top of the list but i know I, I i didn't arrange this list according to any order or stuff but people pleasing this is very very important and when you're meet it's very important it is very important see there's i uh, you're growing up i used to hear this stuff you can't please everyone at the same time but you can't please everyone even when it's not at the same time you can't please anybody individually it is not possible it is not possible we are not all the same thing one man's means another man's poison by the time you please mr a and what you did to please mr a is displeasing to mr b what do you do i don't know but i'm just saying and then we have mr a to z for instance a b c d e f how you want they do um how you want they do um and assuming for the record that from mr a to z what has now pleased all of them individually at in even in different respective ways did not now please you please what do you now do in that and that's you see this part that it's really taking its toll on a lot of young people a lot of young people everybody wants to do something that they, that will make the other person smile at him or her or approve you really don't need all that approval like you don't need all that approval to move on with life to make decisions for yourself to take a next step to you know enact a change in your life you don't need all that approval you really keep don't lying to yourself trust and you keep deceiving yourself you definitely can't know what works for you you definitely can't know what you want in the new year and so you know at the at the end of it all yeah there's crossover nine service some people don't go for service but you know there's this you know special hour from 11 p.m 31st night to 1 a.m you know first of january there's this adrenaline that rushes through people you know that excitement that yes we are crossing over but i miss all this excitement like in the midst of all this adrenaline pouring out and screaming here and there we need to be sure that you're going into the new year 
as someone who knows what he or she wants. You can't go into the new year indecisive. You can't go, to, go into the new year still not knowing your left from your right. Then there's no difference. Then you're just actually continuing 2022 part two, season two, 2022. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll draw the curtains here. Um, I really, really, really do hope that you and I have taken mental note of all these things and we will enact it god helping us yeah so i i have nothing i want to just you know my closing or my parting words that it's so easy to get caught up in these things and not realize it it is very very easy and that's not i'm not, I'm not saying that if you're not able to enact these things then you should now feel bad about yourself or you should start you know downgrading yourself for anything no so don't get too overwhelmed with decisions or with um what do they call it um new year resolutions don't get too overwhelmed jotting down a lot of things that you want to achieve just take it a step at a time and enact some good good stuff for you let's get ginger for the year 23 who is feeling me with me like i'm really 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 feeling it <laughs> anyway guys thank you for watching and um, if you enjoyed this video please share with someone you love the most share with someone who you really feel you want to give a new year present to this might just be that new year gift right <laughs> thank you for listening thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel it really helps with our god redeem and give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one